It's been two to three years since I've walked all the way down the highway through the main business district here in Barreto uh, with a camera and posted it. So I thought I'd do it again. A lot of changes in the last two to three years. If you're looking at the Arizona, which is pretty close to the beginning of the main business area. Barreto goes down there to the hospital and Savers Appliance, but uh, very few businesses in between of interest, so I don't consider that as part of this central Barreto area. So there is the Arizona, one of the most popular hotels here in Barreto. I've stayed there many times and I would recommend that hotel along with others that I will mention later in this video. This is Rizal Street. This is actually the main street in Barreto for the locals. Very seldom do tourists walk down here, but this is where the shopping is. Fruits, vegetables, fish, and there's the market, Barreto Mini Mart. That's the main market at this end of town. And there's the coffee shop, restaurant, and rooftop hotel. So we will start our walking tour and I will make comments along the way. I won't mention, of course, every business, but I will mention businesses that I have some knowledge of. And others I won't mention at all. A lot of changes here in Barreto in the last couple of years, but more to come because the highway is being expanded here throughout the central business area. You see over there they've started the project and it's very disruptive to many of the businesses because they have to take down part of their businesses in the front. There have been encroachments over the years. Lugao Republic. There are two of those places here. Cheap, cheap Filipino food. Dunkin' Donuts. The old location was there and they uh, gutted it out and remodeled it and it looks very modern now. Western Union, that's a very popular place with uh, Filipinos, obviously. This is fairly new, DQ meat and farm products. And docks for uh, roasted chicken and Zamboli's pizza. A lot of people think their pizza is very good. And they put out some other good food there. restaurant that's pretty good good value mainly mainly the customers are Filipino fresh options meat shop that's a good good shop when you're looking for meats, especially chicken. I've always gotten very good chicken. It's a nice clean operation. There, there it is. Nice clean operation. Star Drug, one of several drug stores. Papagayo Beach Inn and Restaurant. Fine place for staying and eating. It's another recommended place. I've never stayed there but I have eaten there many times and the food is excellent especially when you're sitting out by the bay it's very enjoyable there's dynamite dicks wild herbs 
restaurant. I haven't eaten at Wild Herbs in about two years, so that was good before, but I can't tell you now. There's Suzuki Beach Hotel. That's one of the largest hotels in town. They, they take up more beach space than any other hotel. They're right down on the beach. It's a lovely hotel. Never stayed there, though. The Velvet Touch Lounge. They have a lot of uh, live bands, I think just about every night, Wednesday through Saturday, live bands. 7-Eleven. Very popular 7-Eleven. I've gone there many, many times. King's Big Shop. Kind of an outlet for the one in along the pole. Now we're coming into the bar clubs district. Off to the left will be Coco Lips. Bar 5050, Wild Flower, Wild Paradise. A lot of wild down at this end of town. And to our right will be the big Catholic Church. A lot of activities there throughout the year. Big celebrations. They got big loudspeakers, so we all get to enjoy their celebrations. There is these Grand Seas. Beautiful hotel. Manana. Manana Hotel, let's see. I forgot what the name was before. But anyway, they remodeled it and it looks good. The Ann Bond Hotel, here's the other store in town. At this end, it's Bismarck. Little tiny place. Very narrow aisle, very difficult to shop in there. Chill out. Over there, the old Cheap Charlie's. They moved a few doors down. You'll see that a little bit later. There's T Rose Club. This is where the fuel gas station used to be. They tore it out not long ago. Sit and bowl. The Annex, little bar, and you can order food from their main restaurant around the corner. There is the uh, VFW Westpac Sailor and Restaurant. Crazy Horse, another bar. There's over 20 bars of, that have dancing girls or girls there to talk with the guys. Over 20 of them in this town. There's another one, Hot Zone. There's the new Cheap Charlie's. Nice sitting up there. Good view. Nice breeze, usually. Now we're getting down to the busiest, the most important intersection and corner in town. Here's Rico's. Very popular restaurant. Probably the most popular in town. 
they have a cheap buffet, mainly, mainly Filipinos love that place. But it, this is the famous corner, soon will be, because everything is here with hotels, restaurants, clubs. If you look down there, there's the Denito Hotel. A good budget hotel, fairly new, reasonably priced. A new bar that just opened up. Man Cave, it used to be the Buccaneer. This is the complex, the Dryden complex, the maze, as it's also called. It's been called the hideout also. But there's five clubs in that building. There's a lot of action at night, Rum Jungle, uh, Rapscallion, Wet Spot is also part of this operation. Across the street is By the Sea. This is a brand new, huge extension. Very, very beautiful. They added a huge amount of rooms and virtually made it all brand new with a brand new restaurant. Here at this end, is, here's Wet Spot. Still part of the Dryden Complex. Their restaurant, the Dryden Cantina. Here's Lollipops. All these clubs in the same complex. And uh, here is the biggest thing going on in town, obviously, the biggest hotel in town, obviously, Central Park Reef Hotel. Many months away from being completed, but this is going to be a big, big deal when it opens. Two restaurants, two pools, underground parking, it's going to be high-end. It's going to be amazing. So I'm very anxious to see when this hotel opens. And of course, I'll be giving you a big tour when that happens. This is the hunk zone, the gay bar. Can't tell you anything about that place, really. Uh, Rolling Stones. Oh, this is Bretto's Deli. A good place for expats to buy things that they miss from home. Here's Rolling Stones. Here's an upstairs club called Land Luck. Land Lock, excuse me. This is the new rent-a-car place. They just moved down the street, it's down the way. They just opened up. About a week ago, a new place right next door. I don't know what that's going to be. Now we come up on another complex. Ooh, the Fresh Juice Bar. It's either being remodeled or it's out of business. I don't know, but it's gone as it was known before. But the sign is still there. So we'll have to wait and see what that turns into. And another salon. I haven't mentioned salons, but there's lots of salons in this town. Water place. And there is Angel's Bakery, one of my favorite places. Real high-end bakery goods. And they have a kitchen and sell pretty good food at a reasonable price. There's the other side of the Grand Hotel. <laughs> That's what it should be called, but it's Central Park's Reef, I think is the name that it's going to be given. Over there, let's see what they got going. That used to be Lava on the Beach. I really enjoyed that place, but they just couldn't make it. They started renting rooms out. They have two or three rooms. Excuse me. Almost tripped. They got something going on there, I don't know. They're covering that area. But no restaurant. There's Alaska Club. A new Korean restaurant. Right next to Alaska. That used to be Baza Steakhouse. Then it became 
duh bar and due to some leasing issues and of course I don't know the story but the owner operator had to leave and I'm disappointed that was a very nice restaurant beautiful air condition had a pool table near the end excellent food I used to, I used to eat there a couple times a week so I'm very disappointed they had to shut down too bad there's a lot of other Great places to eat, but I'm still disappointed to have lost that. There's my favorite money exchange right next to the ICO. Now probably, and this is just a guess, but they're probably the busiest, most successful hotel in town. They're booked oftentimes solid over the weekends. And that lot will fill up with cars every weekend. They're busy. They're, they're successful. And next door to them is Mongo's Restaurant. Bar and Hotel. Mongo's Resort. Pizza and roast chicken out front. This is my favorite restaurant here, by far. By far. I eat there several times a week. My girlfriend and I probably eat there three, sometimes four times a week. We love it there. Great food. Very good food. Good service. Good people running it. We thoroughly enjoy it. And next door is Palm Tree Resort. It's a hotel, but they have a restaurant on the second level, which is excellent. I highly recommend that restaurant on their second level and you get a great view of the bay up there. They have a huge menu and some really great dishes. This was Sweetheart's Bar that's being renovated now. And I don't know if they're going to reopen or not as Sweetheart's Bar. And this is the Winking Pussycat Bar by far the fanciest bar in town. It looks like something you'd see in Las Vegas. It is beautiful inside. White uh, leather, genuine leather upholstered bench seats. It's a white pool table. It's beautiful. Worth checking out if you're into the bar scene. Another bar across the street and I think you're getting the idea. There's a lot of bars. This is a sports bar. The best place in town, I think, for watching sports. 10 big screens and a pool table. This is the laundry I take my clothes to next to a massage parlor, another club, Rosie's, Gum Leaves is across the street only. Oh. Excuse me, Thumb Star Bar. I've only been in there once. Not very impressive. Here is the pub, restaurant, and hotel. Not a bad place to stay. Good place to stay. Low price, budget price. The uh, restaurant is good. A lot of good food there. I highly recommend the pub. Across the street, the office bar, under new management. Whatever that means, I don't know. And now we're at the end of the main business district here in Barreto. It goes down further from here, down to Beloy Beach Road, but I'm not going to walk down there. There's no businesses between here and there of any interest. The last business along here is, uh, well, Midnight Rambler. Next to it, Flash Rat, which closed down a few months ago. But there you have it. You've got a tour of the main district of Barreto.